All right, this is second grade math lesson 10-6. Explain addition strategies. So we're gonna find 375 plus 235. And again, you can use any strategy that you'd like to. You could do an open number line, you could do compensation, you could do your partial sums, adding the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. I'm gonna do our classic old school regular way to add using regrouping. Okay, I'm gonna start with our ones. Five plus five is 10. We put a zero in the ones place and regroup that one bundle. Seven plus three is 10 plus one more is 11. You can put the one here and regroup that other one. Two plus three is five plus one more is six. It gets me a sum of 600 and 10. So again, I can say that I added the ones first, then I added the tens, and I added the hundreds, all using regrouping. Okay, let's go ahead and go to our back page and take a look at our comic across the top here. Okay, Lauren, Nate, and Josh use different ways to find 257 plus 126. So here's one strategy using the open number line using some mental math as we hop. Another one is to draw place value blocks. And the third way is just to add them up in the column, like I did on the front page. So it says, choose a strategy shown above, explain how it works. So again, you can just use your words and explain it with a partner on which strategy works. Let's take a look at this first one. This is 624 plus 248. This one we decided to use an open number line. So we start at 624, we add 100 to get to 724, add another 100 to get to 824, and then we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4 hops of 10 to 864, and then a hop of 6 to get to 870, and then a hop of 2. I'm not going to have you trace over all of this, but it says start at 624, add two hundreds, then four tens. Count on six to get to 870. See, it's nice to get it to an even group of 10. Then add two more to reach 872. The jumps add up to 248. So if you add all those up, adds up to 248. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to our independent practice page. We have four problems that we can work on. Again, we can do them any strategy that you choose. I'm gonna do just the traditional, stack them and add them according to their columns, okay? So 212 plus 487. So two plus seven is nine, one plus eight is nine, two plus four is six, so I get a sum of 699, and I didn't even need to regroup on that one. That was pretty easy peasy. Let's go to number three here. 874 plus 109. And I'm gonna have you explain to me, rather than having you write it, I'll call on you and you can explain to me your strategy and how you know how it works. Okay, four plus nine is 13. I have to regroup three here and regroup that one bundle of tens. One plus seven is eight, and eight plus one is nine, so we get a sum of 983. There are many different ways we can do this. We can draw it again, we can use partial sums. I think on, let's see, on this one I'll do partial sums. So 400 plus 500 is 900. One plus three is four, so we have 40 um, in our tens, and nine plus two is 11, one, five, and nine. So I chose to do partial sums, and I get an answer of 951. And then let's see, this last one here, 650 plus 270, I'm just gonna stack it again, 650 plus 270. Zero plus zero is zero, Five plus seven is 12, two in the ones place, regroup that one bundle of 10. Six plus two is eight, plus one more is nine, so we get 920, 951. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our back page. 
We only have four more left on the back of this lesson. All right, number six. Lee's school needs 407 folders for its students. Jefferson School needs 321 folders for its students. How many students do both schools need? So we know we're going to be adding 407 plus 321. I'm just going to stack them and add them. 7 plus 1 is 8. 0 plus 2 is 2. 4 plus 3 is 7. So we get 738 folders. Sorry, 728. All right, number seven. There are 229 people at the football game. 108 more, so we're adding people arrive at the game. So plus 108 more people arrive at the game. How many people are at the football game now? So I'm gonna again just stack and add. Nine plus eight is 17. Seven in the ones place, regroup that one bundle. One plus two is three, plus zero is still three. 2 plus 1 is 3, so we get 337 people. Okay, our higher order thinking. Tommy found 125 plus 100 and, I'm sorry, plus 598. Since 598 is close to 600, he added 125 plus 600 to get 725. Then he subtracted 2 to get 723. Why did he subtract 2? Well, right here, our real number is 598. He had to add two to get it up to 600. So then he needed to subtract two from his answer, okay? He used compensation, and that's why he had to do that. He kind of rounded up a little bit. He has to bring it back down. Okay, let's look at number nine, our assessment. This one's having to see as a number line. So let's take a look at this one. There are 192 ants on an ant farm, 397 more ants. So we know we're adding, uh, join the ant farm. How many ants are on the ant farm now? Use the number line to solve. So I'm gonna start at 192 ants on the ant farm, 397 more ants join them. So I'm gonna do a giant hop. I'm gonna break this into 300 plus 90 plus seven. So I'm going to add 300 to that. 192 plus 300 is 492. Uh, let's see, we've got our 90 plus 7. I'm going to go ahead and just add that 7 on here. Watch what happens with that. That brings me to 499. Then I have to do 90 more. So I'm going to do a plus 90 right there. So I have our 9 and our 9. I know our 9 plus 9 is 8, and we have to regroup. So that gets us to 589, 589. All right, great job, everybody.